finally back in the studio painting. These poppies are my first paintings since I did the sunflower painting almost a month ago. I would like to pretend that my bronchitis has kept me away from painting, but if I'm truly honest with myself, this wasn't the reason. Truth be told, I got scared. I let fear and resistance in. Following Carlin's lesson with the sunflower painting was fun. Even totally changing the design was fun to do. I still followed her choices of colours and where to put them. It was easy to follow because we were still painting the same flower, so the colour placements were the same. Then it came time to apply what I learnt from her lesson into something entirely of my own creation. A piece where all the decisions were made by me. I elected to paint Gloriosa flowers. They are almost like my symbol flower. I've painted them many times in acrylic. I love painting them and when I paint a Gloriosa it is frequently well received. Then I started thinking about what colours to use and I got scared. What if I choose the wrong colour combination between the flowers and the background? What if I choose the wrong layout? What if I choose the wrong background design? What if I just ruin the whole painting? So then I started to procrastinate instead. I started watching other lessons by the same artist and even decided to apply a different lesson to this painting. One that I haven't even bothered to follow. <laughs> Cue more pressure. So now I have the pressure of painting my totem flower using a technique I have never used before, all the while not having a clue about what colours to pick for the whole thing. Yeah, no wonder I got into resistance mode. That's a lot for any artist to take on. It's too many unknowns, too many what ifs. So today I simplified and removed these pressure points as much as I could. I changed up from the ever-loved Gloriosas to poppies, less pressure to get the flowers right. I decided to stick to the technique I've already tried by following the class, following the exact steps as before. I chose colours that I was just curious to try out as they were new to me, in Danthrone Blue, Carbos of Violet and Rose of Ultramarine for the background. Then I figured out what colours would work for the flowers later. Basically, breaking down the decision tree and taking the see what happens approach. The result is, I got to paint without fear. I got to enjoy the process and appreciate the painting that showed up on my paper. I really love this painting and I think part of its appeal to me is that I had no idea this painting was possible before. If you are experiencing resistance, fear and feeling scared like I was, it might become easier if you take a look at all the different pressures you are putting on yourself. Take a look at each of them and think of ways to ease that pressure. Repeat on all pressures until you feel free again to paint and to enjoy the process. Making art should always be joyful, fun and relaxed. Fear and pressure has no place in it. I believe it's my job as an artist to do whatever I can to remove them from my practice so that the art has room to breathe and enjoy its time on the paper. I hope your painting journey is as joyful and fun as this painting has been for me. Thank you so much for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.